Assalamu alaikum my dear students, how are you? Hope all are you fine by the grace of Almighty Allah. Welcome to our NIEPS Home School. This is Sonia Khan Joya, assistant teacher of National IDAT English Version School, Maharishi Dhaka. Today I am going to take ICT class for the student of class 7 students. And our today's topic, chapter 1, lesson 1, reading done. So let's start my so let's start our today's topic. Look at the board, my dear students. This is class 7, subject ICT, topic, chapter 1, lesson 1, reading done. And your lecture number 1 and homework number 1. And term, her family 2022. And teacher, this is your teacher. Teacher name is Sonia Kanjoya. And this is my mobile number. And this is today's day. So let's start our today's topic. Look at the board, my dear students. This is chapter, first chapter. Information and communication technology in daily life. Information and communication technology in daily life. <coughs> so first, after completing this chapter, we will be able <coughs> to explain the use of information communication technology in our daily life. Identify the fields of using information communication technology in workplace. Analyze the importance of communication and technology in workplace and evaluate the impact of information and communication technology in social life so in the in this chapter we will learn about this topic now first lesson information and communication technology in personal life new forms of technology frequently come into being in this world though we do not get the information right away so it does not have any impact on us but information and communication technology is such a kind of advanced technology which has immensely been influencing our life since its invention. In this world there is no one who has not used this technology so it is very popular in our modern world. So it has not brought about a change in his life information and te communication technology is not only used in important state affairs and in international events but also also in the lives of ordinary people so it's not only used important state but in important state affairs and in the international events but also it used in our ordinary life if you if you look around you will watch that the people of our acquaintance came teachers class, classmates and you yourself in one way or another are using the technology so around us everybody uses this information and technologies and system the textbook which are reading right now is written by someone printed by using the information technology so is printed by information and communication technology and thus brought uh, down before you you can read it there are plenty of examples like this my dear students look carefully in this uh, in this underline line in from this line you can make your objective this line is very important for make your uh, mcq if we try to make a list of the various uses of information and communication technology in our human life it will never end in spite of that let us at least try to record the important parts of our life strongly influenced and guided by this technology here is a picture anybody around us can communicate with others over mobile phone whenever they like then second there is a another picture television is the most widely used medium of entertainment at, um, at the past time only television is the most widely used medium of entertainment but in the information tele, tem, uh, tele, uh, information and communication technology gives us lots of entertainment system personal communication the very first instance of using information and communication technology may, may be personal communication only very first instance of information communication 
टेक्नोलॉजी में भी पर्सनल कम्युनिकेशन ऑलमोस्ट एवरी वन यूज मोबाइल फोन्स एंड दे कैन कम्युनिकेट विथ एनी वन ओवर मोबाइल फोन्स वो एन एवर दे लाइक और हेफ्स यू कैन रियलाइज दैट आवर लाइफ स्टैंडर्ड हैज बीन प्रोग्रेसिंग फॉरवर्ड्स सिंस कम्युनिकेशन विच अदर्स ओवर टेलीफोन हैज बीन इजियर नाउ वी कैन डू एनी जॉब विथ लेस एफर्ट वो दैट वॉज अनबल बिफोर so we complete personal communication then entertainment next page entertainment nowadays information and communication technology technology is not only a way of communication but also an exciting medium of entertainment previously people had to purchase a separate machine to enjoy music but right now they can listen to music in mobile phone once camera was slowly a slowly a commodity of the rich people but now the ordinary people can take photographs and make videos by using mobile phone it is gradually being an intelligent device that can manage to do works of different varieties in the same way the computer is gradually becoming smaller in size but the and the same the computer is gradually becoming smaller size example from desktop to laptop desktop to laptop laptop to notebook and notebook to smartphone it means that we are going to have such an advanced device by which we can perform unimaginable jobs so and um, at that time entertain entertainment is very easy by the use of ICT system and there is a picture this is a gps gps can locate any place on earth by this um, by this um, devices um, anyone can locate any place on earth <coughs> gps what is gps gps means global positioning system so gps means global positioning system this is very important for you my students gps what is gps gps means global positioning system by the use of this gps one can locate any place on earth before of going anywhere anywhere by a transport we have to know the road links how can a man reach the destination without knowing the road communications but it is very amusing that nowadays one does not need to know the road links before going anywhere by analyzing the signal transmitted through the satellites so signals transmitted through the satellite moving around the earth moving around the earth one can easily locate where one is and by inserting a map in it one can go anywhere one likes all the new vehicles of have gps so at in the present time all the new vehicles have gps devices in the present time all the new vehicles have gps devices that sh that show the driver the way they can choose to go the first satellite of bangladesh was sent to the space on the 12th may 2018 so the first satellite of bangladesh was sent to the space on the 12th may 2028 so the, uh, um, we are in bangladesh we have a first satellite was sent to sent to the space on 12th may 2018 this satellite name bangobondhu satellite so this satellite name is bangobondhu satellite 1 you have to memorize this name bangladesh uh, the first satellite of bangladesh is bongo 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 satellite 1 was launched from the kennedy space center of the us bangladesh was launched from was launched from the kennedy space center usa and bangladesh stand at 57 of the satellite weighing counties of the world and bangladesh is stand 57 bangladesh is stand 57 of the satellites weighing countries of the world so what is gps gps means global position system and by the use of gps signal transmitted through the satellite moving around the earth and the bio and the use of this gps one can locate any place on earth and 
at the present time all the new vehicles have gps devices and bangad and the first bangladeshi bangladeshi satellite one satellite uh, satellite name bongobondu satellite one and it was uh, sent to the space now uh, on the 12th may 2018 and long and launch was launched from launch from Kennedy Space Center of the US and Bangladesh stands at 57 of the satellite going countries of the world. So my dear students this is our today's topic chapter 1 lesson 1 discussion and your homework is uh, we, you will make 5 MCQ from this lesson. Look at the board my dear students this is your homework homework number 1 and you will make 5 MCQ. You will make you will make five you will make number one and you will make five MCQ from this lesson. You will make five MCQ from this lesson. Again, I am saying homework number one and you will make five MCQ from this lesson. So, my students, see you again, inshallah.